Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Valeria from Italy and welcome back to the Italian Mom's Bag. So in today's video, as promised, I'm going to show you how I pack my Be Cool. Now you might say, okay, this is basically like an insulated lunch bag. So how you're going to pack <laughs> uh, a lunch bag with food, with beverage, with snacks, with this kind of stuff. Now, well, no. Um, since that, I decided to start my channel because, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a different point of view on diaper bags and baby stuff, you know, like in general, because the diaper stage only lasts like a few years. And so it's a pity, you know, after not using, um, yeah, this very, very cool stuff. And so uh, when I first saw this, before thinking about snacks, because you know, here in Italy, um, yeah, forgetting the time we're in right now with this COVID and everything, um, we're not really into snacks. Uh, meaning that, yeah, we do take snacks at works, for example, but our kids are not really bringing snacks and food as in school because, um, yeah, they're basically eating at school. And so, um, yeah, we're not asked to give them, you know, anything to bring um, when, when they get there. So, uh, basically I decided to get this because I wanted to use it as my camera bag. Now I'm absolutely aware of the fact that I'm probably not the first person who's thinking about using, uh, the Be Cool has a camera bag, but, um, since that, yeah, Mm, I just packed it because now we're not, um, we can leave the house and so I'm getting like really, really bored <laughs> and I just wanted to try this out for the near future, let's hope if, um, yeah, maybe it could be working. So if um, you are looking like for a camera bag, like a fun one, not really like those black and dark and everything, um, yeah, this is a really fun print. And so I want to show you how I packed it for my Canon EOS 2000D. Okay, there we go. So here you can see uh, that inside I have my uh, camera right here. And I decided to put it this way because I don't know, I just thought it was like safer. And um, up here, I just have the small side piece and inside there, I just have the uh, cable and the lens protector. Okay. Then inside, um, I have the camera, as you can see, and I just decided to leave it all together, like in one piece, because uh, when you're wearing this like, like crossbody and you're out and about and you want to take pictures, I really don't have time, okay, to take this out and then put him back together. I mean, I don't know. I just find it uh, useful to uh, keep it together like this. So this is my camera. And um, then here, I also have the battery charger. And down there, I just decided to put one of those um, Aiden and Anaya's um, muslin. This is like the small size because, um, yeah, I just thought it was safer. Even if the Be Cool, it's pretty padded. This is why I thought of making this a camera bag because it's pretty... Uh, well padded. This is just, you know, like a further protection, but anyways. And then I just thought that um, here in the front where you have this pocket, uh, since that you can really pack um, a lot more, I just decided I wanted to keep inside there, uh, you know, those kind of wipes um, that you use to clean the lenses and even your eyewear, for example. Now I don't have them because I don't have any left inside the house, but I think it will be perfect for that purpose, okay? So this is how it works as a camera bag, but um, my hobby is, one of my hobbies is uh, the photography, but I'm sure that a lot of you may be like sewing or knitting, for example. So I just thought it could be perfect, for example, as a sewing bag, knitting bag too. Now, of course, it depends on the volume of your works, but as you can see, Okay, you can even put more inside and there it is. 
okay? So very compact, very small, but it holds like a lot and it will be very, very useful for that purpose too. And then um, if you want to use it as a cooler, <laughs> as it is supposed to be, um, yeah, I just wanted to um, show you um, a few bottles that you can pack inside. So for example, this is the container. This is like the 12 ounces, okay? And this is how it fits inside. Then if you want to add, yeah, we can also make a size comparison with the fuel cell, for example. And let me tell you, I'm so, so happy they decided to, um, yeah, to change uh, the fuel cell because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the fact that this is like a launch bag and it's collapsing, like, are you kidding me? I mean, if I'm a mom and I have like a newborn in my arm and I need to prepare like, for example, the bottle with the formula and everything and this one, and I have to do it with one hand, of course, and this thing is collapsing, like no way. But anyway, just to give you um, confrontation. So this is the fuel cell. This is the uh, Be Cool. Okay, and if we want to do a further confrontation, this is the replace next stack. This is how it packs inside. And um, yeah, if you like replay in general, uh, this is the uh, hard spout. Um, here we go. And this is how it's going to fit inside. So you have even um, more room um, to spare even up there okay yeah this is like the art spout uh sippy cup that we're not using anymore of course but so um yeah just the last um this is the munchkin 360 okay so if you want to see how it was inside the fuel cell and how it fits now inside the be cool so yeah i just think this is the perfect perfect bag uh whether you you're using it for food snacks uh sewing or whatever now if you found other uses for the be cool please let me know in the comment box down below i really like confrontation and getting in touch with you guys and thank you so much for your love because I don't know, like 50 followers. I know that it may look like nothing to other people, but I just started this page for my personal fun. And seeing that when I'm posting, it's like interesting um, a lot of you. I mean, it's like the biggest thing to me. So thanks a lot for your love and support. And um, yeah, so now I should be ready to pack um, the Oda Tote, okay? So stay tuned because in a few days I'm going to post, um, yeah, the new video on the Oda Tote packing. Thank you so much for your love, guys. Bye-bye.